simple tense. So we are going to explain both of the two tenses and then we are going to apply after our explanation, we are going to have word sheets and we are going to solve them. So as a start, what is the difference between the present sample and the past sample? Who knows? Huh? Yusuf, what is the difference between the present sample and the past sample? Okay. 
Okay. Before never, because you know how much is always how much? One hundred. Great job. One hundred percent. What about usually? Seventy-five percent. What about always? Fifty percent. What about some times? Ah, uh, and then we have ten percent and zero percent. Okay. What is what is the ten percent uh, adverb of frequency? Because you know these words are called adverbs of frequency. It tells me how many times or how often I do the action. Like I do it 50% often, 75% usually, 0% never. Hello, are you sleepy? You want? Uh, okay. So, before never, we have three words which are going to represent the 10 for the adverbs of frequency, uh, Emma. Uh, okay, number one, we have hardly ever. Hardly ever. And we have rarely, the same. They are equal to each other. Hardly ever, rarely, occasionally. So, hardly ever, rarely, occasionally, and seldom, all of them represents the 10%. Okay? Hardly ever. Occasionally, seldom. Hardly ever. Occasionally and seldom. It means 10%. Like from time to time. And then after them, Farida, we have the word never. never. Great job. And sometimes we can use the word every, like every day, every week, every month, every year, every... Like always? Not like always, because it depends on the time or the period you are talking about. Every what? Every day? Every okay, Friday. always. Every Friday, it means once a week. So it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it's always. So, and also from the time expression, Yedima, I like your smile while I am teaching. You are always smiling while I am teaching, like you are watching a movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. And then some, sometimes we can use some words which express that the action happens on a specific time, like on Sunday. It's also for the present simple. Because you are going to tell me, Miss Lamy is, I go to the club on Sunday. On Sunday, it means every Sunday you go to the club. You got the point? So when I am talking about on Sunday, on Monday, uh, at night, for example, I want to talk about one of my daddy's habits. So, for example, daddy drinks tea at night. This is a habit for your dad. A habit means action or something you do it as your routine. Like in the morning I brush my teeth. This is your routine. So we are going to use it in the present simple tense. Because you are talking about action that you always do in the same time in the morning. Okay? <laughs> what about the past simple tense? What are the key words that are going to represent the past simple tense? Yesterday. Yesterday. Last week. Last week. Huh? The name. Ago. Ago. Last year. Last year. Last month. Last month. Last morning. No, we don't use last morning. We use this morning. For example, Mary, what did you eat this morning? You forgot. You ate and you were full and now you forgot. Okay. What about you tell me, what did you eat this morning? I ate, I ate a sandwich. This morning it means the morning that passed because now we are in the afternoon or we are in the evening, right? So when I am saying this morning, I am talking about action that happened and totally happened. Great job. Okay, so for the keywords or the time expression for the past simple tense, I'm going to use yesterday, last, any last, like last week, last year, last month, last Sunday, last year, okay, ago, what else, huh? This morning, 
Okay, what ends? Yesterday, last, ago, in the past, days in the past, once upon a time, this morning. Yesterday, last, ago, in the past, days in the past, once upon a time, and this morning. Let's say them again. What are the time limits of pressure for the past seven? Yes. Yesterday, last, ago, in the past, days in the past, once upon a time, and this morning. What does it mean, the word days in the past? Like what? Which year are we in? Uh, 2023. If I said in 2019, uh, date and If I said in uh, 1980, date and past. So since I am talking about a year that's finished, this is called date and past. So, Yannis, if I said date and past, it means any date that Finished. In the past, they can fast once upon a time and this morning. Once upon a time. And this morning. Okay, who can tell me? When can we use the, the expression once upon a time? Huh? When can we use this? Huh, when we read Bravo, Hamza. Clap your hands for Hamza Muhammad Sadi. Bravo. Bravo. When I am reading a story, you always hear this expression. Once upon a time, there was a big castle in the middle of the forest. I'm talking about actions in the story that happened and totally finished. So when I am talking about the story, I use the expression once upon a time. For the story, we use the expression once upon a time. Okay. And what about the form or the structure of the tense? How can I use the verb in the present simple tense? I need something hot to drink in. Okay. Just allow me a time, some time, and they are laying the sheep. No. So, what about the form? How can I form the sentence in the present sample? Do you remember the fighting technique? My technique in explaining the present sample? Okay. We said before, Yeah, Yusuf, that the present sample looks like fighting. So, we have two groups fighting. Look here, man. Two groups fighting. We have here, this is the fighting technique. And we have two groups fighting. One group is very strong. Who are the strong Yamela? I, 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 we, we, you, you, they. they. Do you do they need any helping? No. No. So I, we, you, they, we just use the verb in the infant. Without any ending. Just the verb you use it. Plus. And here, the other group, yeah, Malik, is called the weak group. For the weak group, they are only one. Because, can you imagine if there is a group, and here is one, and they are going to find which one needs helping? Uh, one. The one. So, with he, or she, or it, I'm going to call the bodyguard. So I'm going to add to the verb. S or E S or I E S. Great job, my students. Brown. So here the weak group is he or she or it. And with he, she, it, I'm going to add to the verb. S or E S or I E S. What about the past simple tense? Who can tell me what about it is past simple tense? Huh? Yes. But you have to tell me first that the verb in the past simple is two types. Some verbs are called regular and other verbs are called irregular. So for the past simple tense here, we are going to use the 
subject like mom, dad, I, he, she, it, whatever. Okay? And then I'm going to use the verb in past. Verb in the past is two types. It can be a regular verb or irregular verb. Irregular, it means we should study. What is the past sentence for go? Go and drink. Yeah. Drive, go. catch, go. great job, buy, go. bring, go. 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 fly, go. great job, drive, go. great job, teach, teach. run, toad, great job. And what about, what about cut, cut, cut. 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 put, put. put. Hit. hit, great job. What about be, be, be. be. Oh. They 
use letters. They use what? Letters. So, I used to have a friend from uh, Germany. Her name is Vivian. And I used to write letters to my pen friend. It's called, or this person is called a pen friend because you don't communicate with him with any social media. You just write letters using a pen. So it's called pen friend because I'm going to interact and communicate with my friend via letters. You understand? Five. I am 13 years old and I, I strong, live or lives Okay, in London, England. My favorite sport is cricket. Number two, I. I huh? No, it's written. I. The verb is play. I strong or weak. Strong. Play. Play. Number two, write play. I play. Number two, page 25. Number two, play. Yes, crack it every day after school with my best friend Tommy. We are both on our school crack it team. Number three, we not win. Negative. We don't negative. We don't ah, negative. Don't win. Don't win. Don't win. Don't win. Don't win. Don't win. Great job. We Number don't three, don't win. don't win. Great job. The same, no change. Don't win. Number three is going to be don't win. Deal? Okay. Many games, but we still. Lots of fun. Yes. We, 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 we have. Great job. Number four, have. Number five, I have got an older sister. Her name is Maddie. She not like. She doesn't like. Doesn't like. Great job. She doesn't like. Not like. Doesn't like. Super excellent, guys. Bravo. But she weak. Comes. Ha? Comes. Come, comes. Add S. Number six. Comes. We add S. To watch our games. What about you? Any score? Question. Comes. Comes. Number seven is a question. Question. Question mark. Do question. Do, 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 do you play? Rob, do you play? Number seven, do you play? Number seven, do you play? Okay, turn the page. I want a page 26. Yes, I want a page 26. Do you play? Quickly. Okay, here we are going to solve question seven. Question seven is talking about a chef which is called Joe Siani. Joe Siani is a famous chef. He, huh, the verb is own. Own, huh, he owns. So number two, owns. Number two, owns. We add S. Do you need another pencil? Omar, do you need another one? Okay, this is not good. Omar, you can use this. So, number two, owns a trendy restaurant in London where he cooks. cooks. He, she, it, we add to the verb S E S I E S. Cooks, yes. Yes. Number three, cooks. Number one, no. I said number two, owns. Number two, owns. Number two, owns. 
Number three cooks food for the rich and famous. He serves hamburgers. Serves. We are going to add S. Great job. He serves. We are going to add S. He serves only organic food and he buys. Read the title and the directions you use it. 
Complete the sentences. Read the title. Complete the sentences in order to make the statement true. Use don't or doesn't where necessary. Number two, penguins in the in the elder cave. Huh? Live. Live. Great job. Number two, live. penguins live. live. Super excellent. Live. That's in the same. Orange trees grow, in the grow, 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 or don't grow. It depends on whether the statement is true or not. It is grow, no? Go, grow or don't grow. But the true, the, the correct statement is don't grow because orange trees don't grow in the North Pole. Number four, milk from cows. Come, 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 Milk comes. Milk comes from cow. In England, people on the right. Drive, drive. Drive. The sun in the west. Rise, 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 rise. Wait, wait, wait. Does, does the sun rise in the west or in the east? In the east. So we are going to do it negative. Does it rise? Does it rise? Number six, doesn't rise. The sun doesn't rise. Number seven, horses lay eggs. Lay, 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 horses lay eggs. Don't, lay, don't, uh, lay, eggs. don't lay. Horses don't lay eggs. Horses don't lay eggs. The moon round the earth. Only one, so we are going to use the verb moves. Uh, like, 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 Rectangles, five uh, sides, uh, five uh, sides, uh, uh, four. So we say don't uh, have. Number ten, don't have. Joyria, use the table. Joyria, use the table. Yeah. Yeah, let's just come. Number nine, I'll be like. Number ten, don't have. Turn to the page, we have page 39. Hi, Mom. Okay, guys, in page 39, in page 39, we are going now to shift for the past sample tense. In page 39, we are going to shift for the past sample tense. As I said, when I am changing into the past sample tense, we are going to use verb in the past. The verb in the past is regular or irregular. Regular, it means I'm going to add to the verb D or E D or R E D. When can we add a D? When the verb ends with E. No. When can we add I E D? When the verb ends with Y and before Y? We cancel Y and add R.
the root should be one syllable. One syllable, it means one part like plan. It's one syllable. But if I say travel, travel, how many syllables? Two syllables. Two syllables. Okay. Some of the verbs that are two syllables and end with letter L, I double the L and add ED. Like cancel. Cancel. How many syllables? Two. I also double the last letter. I double the L and I add ED. So we double the last L when the word ends with L and it's two syllables. Like travel, like cancel. I double L and add ED. But the rule says that if the verb is only one syllable, I also double the letter. Okay. What about the pronunciation? This is very important. Also for all my followers, this is very important. How do we pronounce the ED at the end of the verb? Listen, Wally Edima. We are going to watch the video, and I'm going to illustrate and explain it after the video. Deal? Okay, let's watch the video and see how we can pronounce the ED. Because the ED is sometimes pronounced the, sometimes pronounced and other times pronounced it. So let's see when can we pronounce the ED right. This is very important, Yamala. Is there a vibration here? No. So we say walk. 
So after we add the ed, it's going to be wobbed. Wobbed. Okay?
the pronunciation of that verb in the past tense will end with a T. Exercise number one. 
Okay, guys. Here we have some words here. And we are going to put each verb in its correct place. Like, when can we add D or ED or IED or when can we double the last letter and add ED? For example, in the box, in the table, open, I just add ED. Next one, live ends with E, so I add. Live ends with E, so I add e. D. Number three, fry ends with Y, and before Y, consonant. Cancel Y and add I, E, D. Play ends with Y, and before Y, I am in page uh, 39. No. Play ends with Y, and before Y, vowel, so I add E, D. Right, let's see. Here, up, we have close, drop, study, marry, cancel, smile, try, plan, look, rub, stay, race, enjoy, and water. Okay. We are here. Oh, I want you, I'm giving you time to put these verbs in the table. Like first one, close, ends with what? E. So I add only, so I put it beside what, which one? Live. Okay, next one, drop. Consonant, one more consonant. Ah. Ah. Double the last letter and add E, D. So we put drop beside stop. Drop beside stop. Drop. I put it here beside stop. Drop, button, drop. Drop. E, D. Okay, I'm going to close the live because I think, I think it's done. And then... Yes, I have to go. Thank you so much. And I'm going to be live again maybe in the second session.